Hello everyone, Miss Gray here again, and I'm going to be reading you a story today called Chicken Little. This story is written by and illustrated by Mr. Stephen Kellogg. And just by looking at the cover, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Are you ready to listen to this story? I am ready to read it. Let's go. Poultry coming, announced Foxy Loxy as he spotted Chicken Little skipping down the road. That little feather head will make a tasty chicken salad sandwich, he chuckled. But before Chicken Little got close enough for Foxy Loxy to pounce, an acorn fell from an oak tree and hit her on the head. Help! Help! The sky is falling, shrieked the little bird. Her cries were heard by Henny Penny. What's the matter? She asked. The sky is falling, cried Chicken Little. A piece of it hit me on the head. Henny Penny was horrified. Call the police, she cried. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. That hen was a plump pair of drumsticks, observed Foxy Loxy, and they'll be mighty tasty southern fried. He was about to charge forward and capture the two chickens when the clamor reached Ducky Lucky. What's all this cackling about, he demanded. The sky is falling, cried Henny Penny. A piece of it hit Chicken Little on the head. That's terrible, squawked Ducky Lucky, and together the three birds wailed. Help! Police! The sky is falling! Foxy Luxy shivered with greed when he imagined how delicious Ducky Lucky would taste simmered in spices and sauce. But before he could spring from his hiding place, the cries of the group were heard by Goosey Lucy and Gosling Gilbert. Help! Police! The sky is falling! The sky is falling! What luck, whispered the fox. I'll toast the bite-sized one as soon as I get home. I'll pop that fat one into the freezer until Christmas. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Foxy Loxy almost fainted with delight when he saw Turkey Lurkey come running across the fields. There's my Thanksgiving feast, he chuckled. This is the luckiest day of my life. He was about to pounce on his victims when suddenly he realized it was six against one and the turkey and goose looked like they could be some tough old birds. Ugh, he murmured to himself. I'll avoid the scuffle by outsmarting those foolish files. Disguising his truck and himself, he approached the group and announced, Officer Loxley at your service, folks. What seems to be the problem? The sky is falling, chorused the birds. A piece of it hit me on the head, added Chicken Little. This is an emergency, declared the fox. Enter the truck and I'll take you directly to headquarters. Suddenly, as he looked more closely at the fox, Chicken Little remembered the wanted poster she had seen in town. It's Foxy Loxy, she shrieked. Run for your lives. The birds tried to escape, but Foxy Loxy threw Chicken Little into the truck and locked the door. Before driving off, the fox couldn't resist reading the recipes he had selected for each of his captives. 
And as for the nonsense about the sky falling, he sneered, this is what being the dim-witted chick with a triumphant laugh, ha, 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 he hurled the acorn skyward, jumped into the truck and cried, on to the kitchen. The acorn soared above the treetops and lodged itself into the propeller gears of a Sky Patrol helicopter piloted by Sergeant Hippity Hefty. The gears jammed, the propeller stopped turning, and the helicopter plunged toward the earth. The falling helicopter crashed into the cab of the poultry truck. Foxy Loxy leaped from the wreckage, screaming, The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Stop that thug, cried the birds. Sergeant Hefty flattened the fleeing fox. You're under arrest, he announced. You mean I'm under a fat hippo? snapped Foxy Loxy. During his trial, Foxy Loxy insisted that he was innocent, but the judge sent him to prison on a diet of green bean gruel ugh, and weed juice. On her way home, Chicken Little recovered from the acorn. She planted it next to her, her chicken coop. Years later, when the acorn had grown to an oak tree, her grandchildren loved to snuggle beside Chicken Little and listen to her adventure. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. See you next time.